Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijou Tail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these Royal Bugle Beads earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. The beads are also easy to find in most of the beading store and I have down there in description links where you could buy supplies from. So if you like what I'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And I have a whole playlist with bugle beads and I'll link it here at the eye icon to see. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 0 seed beads. Here I use bugle beads that are 7 millimeters long and you could find them in so many beading stores and I have links down there in description also. And uh, these are 10 millimeter beads. You could do without them but I think it's really prettier when I use them and you could use any regular 10 millimeter beads or pearls you have in your stash and uh, these are ear wires this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters and you could use other beading thread of your choice sometimes i use fire line with the bugle beads because they could cut easily other thread that are not so resistible okay and this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers they are not obligatory but i use them when i need to go through the difficult beads okay and now i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and i'm back and what i want to do in my first step is take four bugle beads Okay, and I have my four bugles on my needle and what I want to do is slide those down almost until the end of your thread, stick your needle in your mat and here what I would like to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through it, pulling and then I'm going one more time, this And I pull. Okay, and now I go here through the bugle. Okay, exit out of it. Take one seed bead, go through the following bugle like this, and I will repeat this three more times. Okay guys, now I have this, I'm exiting out of this bugle and I want to take two chameleon seed beads, one silver and two chameleons. Okay, this is what I have on my needle and as I'm exiting through this bugle, I will go here in the opposite one, okay, like this. I'm going through the opposite little bit and I pull. Now guys I have this and I'm going to take two seed beads of this chameleon color and in my next step I'm going through this silver here in the center. You see with the two chameleons going through the central silver bead okay like this and then i'm going to take two more of these chameleon beads 
and I'm going here in this bugle pull now this is what I have and I have the center of my work okay if you continue this pattern you could make a thin bracelet with this pattern okay now I'm going to take one bugle bead one silver bead and one bugle bead and I will go back through this bugle here that I'm exiting out of okay I have a beautiful triangle here then I'm going in the following bugle and I'm going to take a bugle bead 11 0 seed bead and a bugle bead okay then I go back here through this bugle okay and at this step what I want to do is cut my tail thread here and I'm going to repeat this two more times Okay guys, now I have this and I will go through this silver and through the following bugle. And what I want to do in my next step is to take four chameleon beads, four of them, and I'm going back through this bugle. Then I go through the following silver and what I want to take here are three chameleon beads and I go back like this forming across a four also called right angle weave then I go through the following bugle take four chameleon beads go back like this and I'm exiting out of this bugle then four okay go back here take three Go back, go through the bugle and continue this here four, four, three, four, four, three and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and when I continue this I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last four beads from this row and if you forgot how I did it you could always rewind the video, see how I'm doing the first two steps and repeat them. Okay, and now as I'm exiting from this bugle here, I want to go through these four beads in this direction. Okay, just like this. And I will flip my work because it's easier for me to go in this direction as I'm right-handed. Okay, and I'm taking one silver and I go here through these two dark beads then through the, the third one and take one more silver then I go through these four take just one silver and go through the other four And this row guys is so pleasant and so easy, you just fill in the gaps here and um, the beads arrange so beautifully around the bugles.
you see how nice it is by the way you could stop your earring up to here it will still be really cool or you could make a bracelet using this component up to here it will look really cool really royal and retro Okay guys, and now I'm exiting out of this silver bead and what I want to take is just one bugle bead and I'm going through these beads here like this, through the silver and through these uh, four chameleon beads, okay? Now I have this and then I'm going through these three beads here at the angle then I'm exiting out of this chameleon bead that's next to the silver and what I want to take is one bugle and I'm going back in circle through these five beads, the silver and then the four chameleon beads, okay, like this. Then again I go here and exit out of the silver bead take one bead and I go back through all those five beads four chameleons and the silver okay then I go through these three beads at the top and then through the next five okay and i will show you one more time take one bugle and go through these five okay guys and i'm going to continue this one two three four times and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am at my last step where I'm adding my last bugle bead from this row and what I want to do now is go through this bugle in this direction then what I do is that I flip my work because it's easier for me to go in this direction I'm exiting out of the bugle here and I take two silver beads and I go here Then again two silvers and I go, I go here to the outside bugle. Then I take one dark bead that is my chameleon color and I go through the bugle. Then take two silvers go here through this angle bead two silvers go through the bugle one chameleon bead go through the bugle and then again two silvers go here and I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last chameleon bead. And what I do here is that I go through these two silvers and I take three silver beads and I go through the following two silvers and pull then I go through the bugle and through this dark bead that's on one side and what I want to take here are three silvers ok 
okay like this and go back and I will show you those steps one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row okay now I'm exiting out of the bugle and my goal is to go through the those two silvers as well and what I need to take here are three silvers at the angle and go through the next two and when I pull I have this then I go through the bugle and exit out of the next chameleon bead and here I need three silvers Okay, and I go back in circle making right angle width or a cross of 4 bits, okay? Then I'm going to continue this until I, I'm up to here and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last 3 bits from this row. And what I want to do here is reach my next angle. Okay, and now you could add your ear wire and finish your earring or you could do this additional step that I'm showing. Okay, now I'm going to take four of these beads. I'm exiting out of the angle here. Then I will go this beautiful silver bead, slide it down, okay, like this. And I'm going to take three seed beads and I slide those down as well, like this. Then what I do is that I skip them and go through the following three. Okay. Then I need one seed bead. And I go back from this side, not where I'm exiting here, but from the other side in circle and I add one more seed bead, okay? And when I pull, I have this and you could go one more time around those beads, but I want them to dangle more, so I will skip this step. And now what I want to do is reach the other part of my work where I want to add my ear wire okay and now I'm exiting here and I will take one of my ear wires and I need to take one seed bead, then my ear wire, then one more seed bead. Okay, this is what I have. And I will go back in circle through this silver here at the edge. Okay, just like this. And I will go around through this ear wire. You should close this part here with your pliers really well otherwise it will slip out of this loop that you're making okay guys now i need to make a knot and cut my thread and my earring will be ready my bugle beads royal earring okay now i make here a loop and I go once, then I go second time through this loop I meet, and I pull. Then I go in the following seed bead, and what I do is that I cut this tail, this thread here. Okay, and my royal bugle beads earring is ready. 
Okay guys, and now my Royal Bugle Beats earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. Don't forget when you make jewelries following my tutorials to share them on my Facebook page to see. And uh, sometimes I post your work on my community tab on YouTube so others could also see it. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donation to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.